Now at six, Rhode Island boxing legend Vinny Paz on probation tonight following his latest run in with the law. And Paz appeared in court this morning following his arrest overnight. Only Eyewitness News was at Paz's Warwick home when police took him into custody. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is live in Warwick with the new details. Kate? Mike and Shannon, we're live outside Kent County Courthouse in Warwick tonight, where earlier today, Vinny Paz was joking with fans moments after being arraigned on a charge of domestic assault. And I spoke with him right after he left the courtroom on probation. People want your autographs. Champion boxer Vinny Paz signing autographs and taking photos outside Kent County Courthouse just moments after pleading no contest to domestic assault on his girlfriend. Eyewitness News, the only ones there at his house in Warwick early Thursday morning as Warwick police said they had to break through the garage door to respond to emergency calls inside the house. Moments later, Paz in handcuffs, an alleged victim carried away in a stretcher. Hours later, a woman identifying as Paz's girlfriend friend spoke with eyewitness news sharing this message. It's totally blown out of proportion and that's all I have to say. She sat in court for the arraignment watching as Paz pleaded no contest to one count of domestic assault. The city dropping a charge of disorderly conduct. Vinny Paz was ordered one year of probation and one year at ACI suspended with no contact with the alleged victim and domestic violence counseling. You don't have an alcohol problem? Absolutely not. No, I only I only I don't, I don't have a drink before 10 o'clock at night, ever, ever. I don't have a problem. So, and you know Rhode Island closes at 1 o'clock, so a couple hours. Your friend was saying that she's going to try to get you help. Are you saying that's a lie? Uh, we'll, we'll see. The judge said if Paz violates his probation, he could serve time behind bars. Now, Vinny Paz also faces a felony charge in a separate incident in Providence back in January. The attorney general's office told us Warwick police decided not to present him as a bail violator of that case in court today. Live in Warwick, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.